what better way to divert attention from your crack scandal? Make yourself into a bobblehead and sell it for charity. Mayor Rob Ford's office has ordered a thousand copies of the miniature figurine. Some don't see the resemblance to Rob. Personally, I think it uh, looks more like his brother. Meanwhile, others see the likeness. Ford's supporters were waiting in line as early as 6 a.m. this morning. The mayor finally made an appearance hours into the event, but ran away from the media. Later on, he returned to sign bobbleheads and to take pictures with supporters. Some supporters didn't expect him to show. Because of what's been going on in the media lately and, you know, that people are going to be calling out some nasty things and I think it takes a lot of, a lot of courage to come down and sit there and face all that. Yeah, and it wasn't actually too bad. There weren't too many people yelling things out. One guy did say, uh, there's a crack in mine, which I thought was kind of tasteless. Councillor Denzel Menon Wong thinks the bobblehead is a good idea to raise money for charity. Oh, I think it's a great. Uh, uh, it's great for the United Way, and, and it's going to raise some really needed funds. So uh, uh, I support um, that money going to charity in the United Way. Meanwhile, he plans to make a motion tomorrow to oust the mayor out of office. Yes, it's on the agenda. The bobbleheads are being sold at Toronto City Hall. They will sell for twenty dollars each, and the proceeds will go towards supporting the United Way. I'm Sonia Albori for Ryerson TV News. Thanks, Natish. So, Dr. Summer, why should people take the flu shot? Around this time of year, the virus that causes the flu starts to circulate in our community. Mm -hmm. The flu is this serious respiratory illness that can cause symptoms like fever, aches and pains, headache, shortness of breath, and can lead to even more serious things like pneumonia. And because it's starting to circulate in our community, the best thing that we can do to prevent those that we love, including ourselves, from getting the flu is to get the flu vaccination. So mm -hmm. now's the time to get it. So what exactly is the flu? So the flu is a symptom or a collection of symptoms that's caused by a virus. And the virus that causes the flu um, changes every year. And that's one of the reasons that we ask people to get the vaccine every year because it's changing all the time. So the flu is this kind of collection of symptoms caused by a virus that can make you very, very sick. Mm -hmm. And how effective is the flu shot? So every year we take a best guess at which flu which type of flu virus is circulating in the community, and we try to match our vaccine for it. We actually do pretty good. So when we have a good year where our vaccine matches up with the virus that's out in the community, the vaccine can be between 70 to 90% effective in preventing the flu. Mm -hmm. And what about those who are nervous about taking the flu shot and those that are kind of um, are worried that they might get sick after they take the flu, uh, the flu shot? What, what do you have to say to people like that? So those are common perceptions for sure, and I understand where those come from. The risks of getting the flu uh, shot are very, very low. The most common side effects are that you're going to have a sore arm and a bit of redness for a few days, um, and that can pass fairly quickly and hardly anything compared to what you would get if you actually had the flu. Um, in terms of getting the flu from the flu shot, that actually can't happen. The flu vaccine is, uh, consists of dead uh, viral particles that allow your body to recognize the flu as something that it doesn't want around so that when it actually sees the virus later on, it can respond. So you can't get the flu from getting the flu shot. And so people who are not gonna take the flu shot and are looking for other alternatives um, from preventing themselves from getting the flu, what can they do to help protect themselves this season? Well, if you don't wanna get any type of vaccination, your best option is to make sure that you're always washing your hands. Um, and that's the best place to start. So when you're walking past that alcohol uh, deposit uh, spray box on the side of the wall, make sure you take some and wash your hands. Always take a trip to the washroom, make sure your hands are clean before you eat a meal, um, and especially when meeting with other people. Mm -hmm. If you do happen to develop a cough, it could be either the common cold or the flu, and make sure you're coughing into your sleeve because that way you're not gonna spread it to your neighbors. And you mentioned um, when you have the cough, what, what kind of symptoms would you, uh, would you experience before getting the flu? Yeah, so the flu commonly can present very similar to the common cold. So a sore throat, runny nose, and a cough. In addition to that, however, the flu, uh, the flu will also cause you to have fever, uh, muscle aches and pains, potentially a headache, shortness of breath as well. So kind of like a common cold, but much worse and with a lot of other full body symptoms as well. Mm -hmm. So let's say I didn't take the flu shot. 
and I'm experiencing these symptoms of having the flu, and now I realize I have the flu. Uh, what other options do, like, what options do I have? What can I do? Yeah. So we don't have a treatment for the flu. Um, it will go away on its own in time. The symptoms can last from three to seven days, sometimes longer. But the cough and the fatigue or the tiredness can last for up to six weeks. So if you do have the flu, the best thing to do is visit your doctor, make sure that there's nothing else going on, and they also need to know so they can be on the lookout for things that can happen when you do have the flu, like pneumonia. Um, when you do see your doctor, they're going to have some advice for you for how to take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. And where are some places that I can get the flu shot? Great question. The flu shot is available certainly at a physician's office, as well as through Toronto Public Health. They will have some clinics as well. As of last year, the flu vaccine is now available at pharmacies as well. So check with your pharmacy or with your doctor um, to find the most convenient spot and time for you to get your flu shot. And um, just to wrap up, just a last question. Once you do get your flu shot, how many uh, weeks does it take for it to kick in? Yeah, so the flu vaccine is most effective after two weeks. So when you get your injection, you're still susceptible to getting the flu shot for the first two weeks. That's another reason to get it early. All right, perfect. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Back to you, Natish. This is Sonia Albori, and here is your entertainment update. It has been a sad day in Hollywood. Fast and Furious star Paul Walker has died this weekend in a car accident in Southern California. The tragic incident happened while the star was attending his charity event to support the Philippines' typhoon relief efforts. The 40-year-old actor was in the passenger seat when the driver allegedly lost control and crashed into a streetlight and tree. It has been reported that both Walker and the driver died at the scene. Co-star Tyrese Gibson visited the crash scene to mourn the loss of his close friend. We'll have more on the developing story. In other news, former Disney star Joe Jonas is finally opening up about his personal life. In an interview, Joe talks about his infamous purity ring, touring with his brothers, and what it's really like dating co-star Demi Lovato. And finally, in music news, Queen Bee is back on top. From performing at the Super Bowl to Barack Obama's inauguration and going on a world tour, Beyonce has been very busy this year. It's not surprising she was recently named Bing's most searched celebrity. The R&B star outdid Kim Kardashian, who won the title last year. I'm Sonia Albori, and that was your entertainment update.